Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the merciful, the compassionate. As you can see, I'm a Muslim. And uh, I was just going around. Whenever I come on Sundays, I, if it's prayer time, I do my prayers. And then I go around the park to see who is here and who is not here. So while I was going around, somebody asked me if they could interview me. So I said, OK. So I took my shoes off, stood on this stool. And the people who said they wanted to interview me, they have gone. OK, so I'm left here standing. And anyway, the brother is here as well. So, yes, uh, years ago, um, I used to stand on ladders, then chairs, then nowadays stool. But nowadays, mostly I go around and uh, try to speak with people who would, who would like to debate with a Muslim. For example, mostly I like to debate with Christians. Why with Christians is because uh, as you see, I'm a Muslim, and in the world today, the population is just over 8 billion. Just over 8,000 million human beings on the earth. And the number of beliefs, the number of religions in the world today is more than seven and a half thousand different religions. More than seven and a half thousand different beliefs. And out of all these more than seven and a half thousand different religions and beliefs, today Christianity stands at being number one. That's coming out from the mouth of a Muslim. Why? Because we do not lie. We speak the truth. Okay? So today Christianity is number one. In other words, it is the biggest religion in the world. The biggest belief in the world. The Christians and then what is the second biggest religion? second biggest belief in the world today that is our beautiful Islam and remember the first biggest and remember according to non-muslim facts and figures Islam which is today the second biggest religion by the year 2050 onwards Islam will be number one and Christianity will come down to being number two. Why? Because Islam is the truth. Why? We Muslims have a beautiful holy book which we... Was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, our Holy Quran, over a period of nearly 23 years. Okay? And our Holy Book, the Holy Quran, everywhere, anywhere, is one and the same. Pick up the Holy Quran in any continent, in any country. In any Muslim place of worship, in a masjid, anywhere in the world, in any public library, our Holy Quran is one and the same. The first surah is Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening, the opener, and the last surah chapter is Surah Tunnas, the mankind, surah chapter number 114. We are in speaker's corner. Many a time some people say that the Muslims are different Qur'ans. No, we have the same Holy Qur'an. And remember, our Holy Qur'an is the only book in the world 
which millions of Muslims know it by heart. Millions of Muslims who are old, young men, women, they know the Holy Quran by heart from the beginning to the end. And, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi come here. How are you? From Kuwait. From Kuwait. Mashallah. Mashallah. Assalamualaikum. And some brothers. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Hey. Allah Azza wa Jalla. Okay. Okay. Uh, I met this. Uh, he's here. Yeah. Mashallah. He asked me about you. Yeah. He's a brother. Okay. Anyway, you're from beautiful Saudi Arabia. You're from beautiful Kuwait. I am from beautiful Pakistan. And uh, anyway. So there we are. See, this is uh, us Muslims. I don't know these guys. I met this uh, young Muslim brother last week. He is from beautiful Kuwait. And today I met uh, a young Muslim there. He is from beautiful Saudi Arabia. Okay, and I'm from Pakistan. And of course, this is one of the regular Muslim youngsters here. So anyway, so in Islam, in Islam, there is no racism. In Islam, there is no, you are black, you are white, you are brown. No. We are all believers in the one and only God Almighty. Who is the one and only God Almighty? It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, why? Is it that <laughs> Islam? That doesn't matter. Don't worry. Inshallah, people will come. People come and go. He's saying most of the people that follow you are Muslims. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. There are many people there. Okay. Now, this is our beautiful Holy Quran. I talk to you about Islam which keeps on growing the number of Muslims which keeps on growing why because Islam is the truth why does Islam keep on growing Islam is that a new channel Real one. Okay, old one. Okay, maybe I've seen you after some time, yeah? Anyway, so why does Islam keep on growing? Because according to our beautiful Holy Quran, more than 1400 years ago, when our Holy Quran was revealed, in Mecca, in Medina. Anyway, in Surah Al Fat, the victory, which is Surah chapter number 48, ayah, verse number 28, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, it says, Ho wala zi arsala rasulahu bin huda wa din al haqqe. In English translation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that he it is who has sent his prophet Muhammad peace be upon him with the book of guidance. Which is the book of guidance? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about this beautiful holy Quran. With the book of guidance and the religion of truth which is the religion of truth islam and the religion of truth that he may make it prevail over all other religions so this is the truth so when more than 1400 years ago allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that he's going to make this islam prevail over all other religions. Was it true? It is true. I've just told you, out of more than seven and a half thousand religions in the world today, 
Islam is number two at the moment. Christianity number one. Why? The number of Christians at the moment is about 2.4 billion. About 2,400 million Christians in the world today. And we Muslims, Islam is number two at the moment. Why? Because the number of Muslims today is around 2.1 billion. That is about 2,100 million Muslims today in the world. I remember in the Christian calendar, it is the year 2023. But in our Islamic calendar, it is the year 1444. And we Muslims. How did you get that, please? Pardon? How did you get that? Please? How ah. did you get that calculation? I've never heard that before. Ah, uh, what 1400? You just said that the English, the Christian calendar is 2023. I'm asking you, how did you get 14, whatever you said about the Muslim calendar? Yeah, our calendar starts from the uh, day, time our Prophet migrated from. Mecca to Medina. So our calendar, in our Islamic calendar, it is the year 1444. Okay? Why do you calculate it? I'm sincerely asking, I don't know. Yeah, why do we calculate? Because, because I mean, the Christians have a calendar, okay? They calculate according to their uh, uh, Christian belief, okay? We have our own Islamic calendar. And we, our calendar starts from the migration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Mecca to the, uh, to uh, Medina, which used to be known as Yathrib, all right? And according to our calendar, we are in the 15th century, all right? The year 1444, and the Christians are in the year 2000. 23. Is anyway, significance to that? I mean, is there any reason? Okay, okay, one significance is this that when I'm telling you that uh, out of more than seven and a half thousand different beliefs, out of more than seven and a half thousand different religions in the world today, that Christianity was number one at the moment. Is number one at the moment. All right. And uh, that's in their year 2023. But in our year, in our Islamic calendar, in the year 1444, we are number two. Okay? But by the year 2050, Christianity is going to come down to number two and Islam will go up to number one. Okay, and I gave you a verse from our Holy Quran, from Surah Al Fath, the victory, Surah chapter number 48, Ayah verse number 28, where more than 1400 years ago, when the Holy Quran was being revealed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that our Islam will prevail over all other religions. And because, and because Islam is the truth, because our Holy Quran is truth. So this is a miracle. So what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that Islam will prevail over all other religions, it is coming true. Because today we are number two, but by the year 2050 onwards, we'll be number one. That's if we and make it to 2050. Pardon? That's if we make it to 2050. Because the way the world is going, according to the signs of the times in the Bible, we're living at the end of time. So okay. make it to 2050. Okay. I enjoy talking. Oh no. Because you said that this, the, uh, Christianity number one was the population amount. The majority of Christians today are not true followers of the Word of God. They're not true followers. You don't need to tell me that. I know. Respectfully, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's not about numbers, really. It shouldn't be about numbers. Yeah. Because the Almighty is not interested in numbers. Because you can be a Christian, but you're not following or doing what Christ did while he was on earth. So okay, young man. Yes. Young man, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I know you May I ask you, what do you believe in? 
What do I believe in? Yeah. Maybe later I'll tell you. Later what? You know I believe in God. Are you scared to tell us? Are you shy to tell us? So I'm a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. I'm a Christian. Ah. I enjoy talking to Christians and I'm going to have you today. All right? You stay there. No, no, no. Oh, you stay there. Hold on, hold on. What you were saying was interesting. Okay. Okay, stay there. I'm going to put my Holy Quran in my bag. Please continue, my friend. Actually, don't start running. Stay there. Stay there. Okay, listen. Excuse me. Why don't you come near? No, 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 not now, please. Okay. I already talk about we Muslims, no matter which continent we live in, no matter which country we live in, our Holy Quran is one and the same. Okay? Now, in our Holy Quran, we have surahs, chapters. In our Holy Quran, we have 114 surahs, chapters. There are Christian Bibles, unlike our Holy Quran. The Christian Bibles are different. Why? Catholic Bible, 73 books. Russian Orthodox Bible, 86 books. Greek Orthodox Bible, 78 books. Ethiopian Orthodox Tivahida Bible, 81 books. Protestant Christian Bible, 66 books. May I ask you, young Christian, which Bible is your Bible? I'll tell you the truth. I go with the 66. I don't know much about the others. Okay. That's enough. I ask you a question. The Bible which you believe.